Right. Go away. Go away. Okay, so today we learned how to connect MongoDB to our application as well as define a couple of models and perform the code operation, right? So the first step is gonna connect our application to the, um, the database. Okay, I'm gonna create a new project. CNS, CD Catalina, and NVX, uh, rest. Ah, I just forgot to, yeah. can, can anyone help me with this? I, I forgot the command. Generator, right? No. View, echo, no view. I need help. Um, there's a chat. Do you see my screen? Um, minus, minus, no, minus, view. Okay. Only one, a minus, minus, view, and no view, right? Um, no, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a uh, minus, minus, no, minus, view. <laughs> <laughs> okay, minus, minus, no, minus, view. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the name of the folder. Um, yeah. So let's go with books, right? Okay. Uh, uh, the command that uh, Mark sent is to create a new uh, spread up with the view, the default view with HPS. We don't have any view, so we're going to use uh, Python, Python, no view. Okay. Go to books. So I'm gonna start my app. I open the ID. So first thing first, I want just it, it's a habit. I'm gonna change this to five thousand. Okay, and we're gonna use mongoose. So I'm gonna install mongoose. mongoose. So it's NVM install. It's a shortcut for on my laptop. Okay, so I I also need to NVM install as well. Okay. So now I can import Mongoose equal require. And you can connect Mongoose to our applications using mongoose.connect. Right. And as you can see here, uh, the first argument is going to be our UI, we'll see the connection string and the options. So uh, if you don't have the options in the lab, like so, you will see a bunch of warnings. Okay, so that's why I put the, uh, the options here so you can um, how to say, uh, avoid to remove the warnings. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the whole thing. And paste. We have then, you also have catch, error, whatever you want. Okay. So here, see, uh, I see a couple of you guys have the problem, right? Um, so there's a reason why the the DB local here doesn't work on, um, you cannot read this data. And because, I think because you're missing the dot env, or you don't have the this variable inside your dot env. So I'm gonna create dot env here. And I'm gonna define that variable, DB local. You can name it anything you want. I prefer to call it uh, DB local. It's not FTP, sorry. Uh, it's MongoDB slash last localhost uh, 2707. And this is gonna be the name of the database. You can name it, I'm gonna name it um, uh, Catalina. Well, uh, uh, okay, 
pakai uh, hooks. Okay, I'm gonna set. And then you have to npm install dot nb. Uh, you should stop me anytime, right? Something confuse you. And here's a note. Uh, you need to uh, create this env file outside in the root folder. This has to be in the root folder of your application, of your project. Okay. Then you can um, require dot env using the default config. Okay. So now when I run my app, I expect to see this console log, right? If bad thing happen, I expect to see the error. So let's, um, oh. oh, I need to add one more script. Yeah. Come on. Okay. So NBM install not one. Come on, pop, pop. There's a chat window. There's a chat window. Uh, okay, where's the chat window? Uh, here we go, chat. Oh, guys, uh, some, for some reason I cannot see the chat. Where the hell is it? Can, can someone chat something? Uh, can you chat something? Uh, yeah, we, we chat already. Did you see something? The, 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 the chat windows disappear on the screen. It's nowhere to It's weird. Oh, it's hidden behind the, uh, the, uh, the participants window. Right, I see it. Cool. Move it here. Right. So now I'm gonna start the app. NVM. Yeah. NVM run that. Sorry. Okay. As you can see now, I'm connected to the database. Right. Uh, can you guys try and uh, test? <laughs> okay. <coughs> Okay, can, uh, okay, so here I will, uh, I will show you how to debug. Can you put a console log to see the value for this variable? Uh, this is constant, I would say, constant. Okay, now you see something like this. Everyone do this. Try this. Okay. Uh, Okay, everyone, do you see the string here? Undefined, yeah, that's the problem. So you need to install .env in order to read the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the environment constant. And you have to set out your server, start again. Obviously, you need to define the constant here. Uh, all right. So who got this part? Yeah, you have to set up. So here's a note. Every time you change something in your environment, you need to restart the server. Okay. So how do you turn? I'm gonna ask. Uh, yes, no. okay, relaunch. Okay, who else? All right, I see one now here. Two now. Three now. <laughs> All right. What the hell? <laughs> Extras, yes. How do you see that? Why is that?
Francis. Okay, here's the, uh, the answer from NPM community. <coughs> so I will see three no here. Who was that? And do you need any help? Okay. Oh. Something wrong. Oh, I think you have it uh, installed globally. Okay, funnels. Um, which error? All right, again, guys. So I'm copying and paste the, the exact same thing from the London portal, right? You can do that as well. And in order to run a uh, session on the uh, what's wrong? Hang on, uh, I'm looking at uh, the problems. What's wrong with that? Hey, look. So as you can see here, I have not known and okay. What <coughs> hmm. not is what does it mean? Uh, can you stop everything in in the meme install not known? Okay, please. Uh, when when you try to install something, just close the packet application file. Don't don't leave it open. Okay. And you can just uh, I'm going to copy and paste the on it. Cool. All right. Test again. Uh, Another uh, is it from Team Mongo's uh, connection refuse. Okay, Team. Uh, okay, um, if you see something like this, okay, um, something like uh, connection refuse one two seven zero zero four one. It means I uh, you have a star. the uh, DB server. <coughs> so what, what you have to do is like, uh, you need to open your terminal, okay? And type Mongo. Okay. If it throw in any error, oops. If it throw any error, you can open my terminal here, and then Mongo. As you can see here, when you type Mongo, it actually start a server, uh, the, the Mongo server for you. Or you can use something, if you install using Homebrew, I remember the... Uh, uh, getting started. From yesterday. So MongoDB here. So if you use... Where is it? Oh, you have to wait to it. You can start your server manually by running Mongo and the the argument the database path here, and you send in the path for your database where you store all your database on the files. Yeah, so it could be it could be something like this. Uh, Mongo db path uh, 
hang on and beta oh you cannot use this uh, this part because you don't have permission to write or create any folder here so you may want to go to um, user and data and then heat for example yeah and you should save this command so that you can use later whenever you want to start your server okay uh, so try that and uh, see what happens and from mark can I see the app of JS quickly okay. sure so we we import and apply the configurations the default configs of dot env So I'm going to simply so I would go to this folder first. Anyway, uh, can you go and create a folder? Can you create a folder to store all the data? Yes. Okay. So I would do something like this. Go to um, home. Home here. If Suppose you're using Mac OS, right? Go to home. I think only Mac OS has this problem with the uh, the latest release. So I'm gonna create folder called data. Oh, sorry, data. And go into data. So here's only for people who run into problem, right? Okay, create another folder called bin and go into bin and get the info so here you will see the uh, the path how do you get the path here uh, uh, anyway <coughs> how do you get the, uh, the pool path out oh, maybe maybe this uh, uh, oh there's a trick here if you want to get the path of this just just uh, drag and drop it here. You see the path here, uh, <laughs> right? So here's the path that take, uh, leads to you to you um, the uh, the folder that you store the database in the future. So now you can do mongo and hyphen hyphen db path in the space, right? So here's the command. Copy that, paste to here. So if you're using Windows, mm. so if you're using Windows, I suppose you should have your right. So I don't, I don't remember. Um, install mongodb.com. Install um, mongodb on, on Windows. All right. Uh, Here we go. You need to do something like this. Uh, you need, uh, if you already set the uh, the the Windows environment, uh, you, you, in Windows they call it path. So window path, and then you just run the the path, run the script. Something like this. So basically, on uh, this. Or you can just double click on Mongo in the, the folder where you install MongoDB. Okay. Or you can use a string like this to execute the program using command line, or you can just click on that. Um, Windows is easier, I think. Okay, do you have any problems? Or you can create a shortcut. Right. And for Mac user, Mac doesn't allow you to create to create um, the default the default path for your database. For example, so here was a default path. Uh, it is say not allowed. And if you want to start a service uh, using Homebrews, let's see. Um, no. 
Iya. Yeah. Okay, what? This. Uh, this blue circuit start to start the server. So this I have a position to start the server yesterday, and it was running fine, right? This one. Yeah. Okay. So if you run into problem, just follow the exact for macOS user. You can follow the exact. Um, Instruction here, or you can run manually just like me. Oh. Checking again. Uh, and, um, hmm. Okay. Uh, Mark, can you type in your terminal? Can you type uh, Mongo? Mongo, uh, Mongo, sorry. Mongo. Wow, Kino. Okay, if it runs, then everything's fine. Something wrong with your URL, your URI. So if you see something like this, this means you are connected to uh, the MongoDB server. In this call. Oh, one seven. It's not one six. It's one seven. So the default box is gonna be two seven zero one seven. Man, All right? Can you change that? Change that. And restart the server. I both. Okay, so that's gonna be two people left. Who else? Who else? Quickly, quickly, so we can move on. All right, that's the one more. Mm. So whoever the that person can you can you tell me what's the error you're running into? So this really case by case. Okay. Who is this? One. Was it Wing? Oh, okay. Uh, um, uh, okay. uh, when can you run uh, oh, there too? Yeah. Can you type ls, please? Uh, anyway, um, to do, to do, to do, type ls. You see the structure, or you can, can you just uh, take the whole screen? It's very hard to me, for me to see just the uh, message here. She did, she did, did it, uh, I mean, install. And then any inside. She did run any install before she run any install. So I need to see if you have the packet rotation file. Right. What, what, what is this? Uh, Okay. All right. Here's a problem. Wing. Um, I think you're in the wrong folder. 
for some reason you're in the wrong folder because uh, from your picture I see that you have um, two packet registration files there so something must be wrong right? <laughs> no not type <laughs> not this <laughs> not this but uh, just type uh, the ls into your terminal ls only ls see uh, look at this ls uh, exit type this All right or you can type the pwd to see the uh, the current working folder uh, for the rest uh, you can try to move on to the next milestone Uh, do you mind if I can I control your your screen a little bit? Uh, I'm gonna stop recording here first. Uh, okay. Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna try to have a thing and win to fix this before we move on. So if you're already connected to, uh, yeah, sure. If you're already connected to the database, you can keep working on the uh, the, uh, the lab. Okay. Um, so, how do you stop this? Okay, stop sharing. And 